The emerald ash borer, or EAB, is an invasive insect that has killed tens of millions of ash trees in the United States and Canada. It was first detected here in North Carolina in 2013, and it is spreading rapidly across the state. In this video, we're going to help you learn how to identify the EAB and the signs and symptoms of an EAB infestation. The emerald ash borer is a tiny little beetle that's a member of the jewel beetle family. It's a really beautiful insect. It's mostly a metallic emerald green color, and when it lifts its wing covers, you can see its body is metallic reddish or purplish. The adult beetles are out and about in North Carolina starting in April through the middle of the summer. Now the larva, the immature stage of this insect, is really what does the damage, and it is much less beautiful than the adult. It is flattened, cream colored and composed of segments that each flare out kind of like a bell, which is a great ID characteristic. The larvae feed under the bark of the tree, and they create these serpentine or S-shaped galleries as they tunnel back and forth through the inner bark and outer wood of the tree. This is what actually damages and eventually kills the tree, because this feeding cuts off the flow of nutrients and water. These galleries will be visible if you peel away the bark of an infested tree. So now that we know what exactly the emerald ash borer is, let's take a look at some of the major signs and symptoms to look for when determining if a tree is infested by EAB. So behind me here we have a small ash tree that's infested by the emerald ash borer. And so if this was a tree in your yard, in your neighborhood, or out in the natural area, one of the first things you might notice that's wrong with this tree is canopy dieback. And so if you look up into the canopy of this tree, you'll notice that the canopy has started to thin and branches have started to die back some. So there's less leaves on this tree than a healthy tree would have. And so as an emerald ash borer attack progresses, you'll start to see more and more canopy thinning and canopy dieback occurring. Now this tree here does still have most of its leaves, but in an infested tree, as the attack progresses, you'll start to see more and more canopy dieback occurring. So if we move in a little closer to this tree, we can see two more warning signs of an EAB infestation. The first is these vertical splits and cracks in the bark. And these are caused by the EAB larvae inside the tree tunneling underneath the bark. The other warning sign we see is what's called epicormic sprouting or epicormic branching. And this is where we see sprouts coming out of the tree where from the main stem or main branches where we normally wouldn't expect to see sprouts coming from. You will sometimes see very extensive epicormic sprouting up and down the stem of an infested tree. Now if we get even closer and look at the bark of the tree, we can see a clue that can really help us narrow this problem down to the EAB. If you look across the bark, you will see these little D-shaped holes. These holes are actually EAB exit holes. These are places where an adult EAB has emerged out of the tree. Now there are other insects and other things that will create holes in trees, but these really distinctive D-shaped exit holes are a great way to identify that this is EAB. Right next to these exit holes, you will see a larger hole in places where the bark has been chipped away. This is actually where a woodpecker has gone in and excavated an EAB that was under the bark. Woodpeckers really like to feed on EAB, and you'll often see a lot of woodpecker activity on EAB infested trees. And so we have canopy thinning, bark splitting, epicormic sprouting, D-shaped exit holes, and woodpecker activity. And when you put all these clues together, we're able to determine that this tree is infested by the emerald ash borer. I hope this video was helpful and has you ready for some EAB ID. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.